know, I don't know if I've ever seen the 60 meter dash tested in person. I've been running with myself since, as coach since January 2006, and in high school we had the 100 dash, but not the 60. I don't think. So this is my take on the Noah Lyles. It's a plural. <laughs> well, I don't know. Okay, it's it's one person, Lyles, but like there's an S as in that that sense. It's plural. Um, and his 60 meter dash time of 6.44 seconds from 4 February 2024. I'm filming this Monday, 12 February 2024. So here I talk through the Noah Lyles of United States of America. It's, it sounds really weird coming out of my mouth. That's all. Um, 60 meters dash race at the 2024 New Balance Indoor Grand Prix in Boston, Massachusetts, United States of America. Time of 6.44 seconds in the final on Sunday, Sunday final, on the final on Sunday, 4 February 2024. With his time, he achieved a personal best time. That's what the announcers said. Um, I provide from multiple uh, places. I provide my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it in terms of his racing uniform. And potentially spectating an indoor track and field competition later this month, February 2024, at which the 60 meter dash is tentatively scheduled to be contested. University of Washington hosted competition in Seattle. Okay, so it was fast. They had like a kind of a queue. They lined up and then they called each of the runners out and like gave a little blurb about each person and Noah Lyles came out in this absolutely stunning pale yellow attire I think it's Adidas I think um pale yellow is the big takeaway it's beautiful yellow I, I used to have a shirt that was that yellow um and he ran very fast he has he is a handsome hunk man. He's very handsome. I find him very attractive. And he ran and he has like, it's amazing how far. So I'm a road runner and I do like the one mile run. Um, it's amazing how fast he can move his legs, like and how long the stride is. I'm like, I'm not that flexible. I'm definitely not that fast. I'm a she, her, hers, so for, for clarity. So I wouldn't be competing with this guy anyway. But there's just like, he's a human where I go, you're wonderful. I cannot do that. I would fall, okay, if I even tried to stretch my legs that far apart for like one stride. I would, I would just, I would fall. Okay, I, I have tripped on grass before. So... I'm being serious. Um, yeah. So his racing uniform, I, I think it did a perfect job of, he had this pale yellow and he was the only person wearing the pale yellow. And I was just like, you man are very handsome. That's okay. And then, and I live in the United States of America and he, he's running representing the United States of America. And I'm like, oh, we have a handsome man. Okay. That makes me happy. Okay, and then the second contextualization part is uh, potentially spectating an indoor track and field competition later this month, uh, February 2024. So I'm Tannis Leonardi, it's my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. I am Tannis Corley Leonardi, it's my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. I'm trying, I'm switching up my athletic performance contextualizations a little bit this week. Um, since I've been doing kind of like aquatic sports and the one mile run, I was like, I should do something different. 60 meter dash, since I saw this and it was like, I saw the video like the day of or within a day of this happening or something or something like that. And then was like, why didn't I think of this before today? But you like actually doing a video on it because I haven't even seen this contested in person. Um, this is like a race that I didn't know existed <laughs> kind of thing. Um, but now I do because of Noah Lyles. And so there's, I used to attend the University of Washington, two th uh, enrolled student 2010 to 2012, that's my transcripts span that period of time before I transfer away. And there's an indoor track, which is not to be confused with the intramurals activity building, which has an indoor track, but not like 
for competition that's just for like the students and then there's the student athletes and the athletes and stuff and they get their dempsey indoor track and field named after neil dempsey and his wife janet um so not the actor patrick dempsey okay no. um and so i've been down to past that building before uh for my walking and talkings if i'm get, remembering the indoor track correctly and so what parking was like six dollars and 75 cents and then the entrance fee is ten dollars and the meet so it's the shannon last chance invitational hosted by the university of washington uh, i think the arizona state sun devils i looked at their track and field um schedule and they it's part of their schedule as well so I'm guessing it's teams from the Pac-12 conference, if you're familiar with the NCAA Division I athletic conferences. So, you know, Leon Marchand's going to be out there doing the 60 meters. Um, no, I don't know. Um, but, like, you never know. Can they do that in college sports? So um, I was thinking, you know, maybe I should go uh and watch because they have on friday so the 60 meter dash is spread across two days the preliminaries are on friday evening and then the final is on saturday morning and the one mile run is on saturday and the 3000 meters and 5000 meters are on friday and so i didn't it's a so, so i have 160 dollars from the cleaning house and dog sitting kona um, over two stretches so entrance fee is ten dollars for one day parking is about seven dollars so let's just round up to ten so twenty dollars for one day and then i have gas to think about and then there's also the pac-12 uh men's and women's swing and diving championships coming up in federal way so i have a budget of 160 dollars um that i didn't really know what to use for so this has got me thinking, if I'm serious about pursuing running, the obvious of the options is not actually going all the way down the federal way. It'd be going to the Shannon Invitational and seeing how that goes in honor of Mr. Noah Lyles and Jacob Ingebrigtsen and the other runners, I've, but especially those two. And going and potentially seeing this, I, I would tentatively choose one day the friday session is evening and i don't it's, it's 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 still winter i'm filming i'm filming this monday 10 not 10 12 february 2024 so i used i used to attend the university of washington and be walking back to the sorority in like you know fall winter because i had physics class and it was autumn term um but it, it was dark then at that time it, right friday <laughs> friday nights i had physics lab and i was like you know you love physics when you were in physics labs on friday nights okay um like you know like 5 30 p.m to like or it either started or ended at 5 30 p.m like I, i'm serious that was dedication um my first term of college like at a four-year institution oh yeah so um i'm thinking of going I had set aside the $160, so like it doubled because I watched Kona twice. So there's $50 from two different sessions. That's 100 yes, from just dog sitting Kona and then 60 from cleaning house. So I tucked it all away. You want to see? You should check to see if the budget is here for this. The budget is here for this. I do need to deposit this though because payment for the tickets is cash only per the online information posted for the Shannon Invitational. Um, so yes, uh, but and the Shannon Invitational runs Friday 23 February to 2020, Friday 23 February 2024 to Saturday 24 February 2024. So my biggest concern with this is cash, um, not cash, gas. And thinking about, I might not be here. I might have moved and been been wed, or we might be here. And maybe this is something we do in all of the cases, or we make an effort to do. Right? It's like, what if we're here and we don't have much? Like Dominique Sposlai is here, and we're like getting moving, and we're like just kind of chilling during the day, and this invitational is going on. Maybe we can go in the middle of the day. Maybe if there's a track race for Shoreward High School, we go over to Shoreline Stadium and watch. These are the kind of things that are like, if 
if we're really taking four days, three days, four days, three nights to move, and it's, um, would no allows could be here and he could come with me. This is about him, right? Um, this kind of athletic performance contextualization. Um, add it in, right? Just make it part of the schedule if it fits. So it could be, and then if we're living somewhere else and we really want to still go to local competitions here in Seattle, make an effort to come back and see the family and go to these competitions, right? And ask them if they want to come. <laughs> um, okay, maybe Noah competes. I don't, I don't know about this one because it's a high school one, um, but or not a high school one. I apologize, a college one, but yeah, it's. I left myself speechless. He's inspired me so. He's inspired me so much, and I've been like, I maybe I should just see what this actually looks like. Especially if you like paid or contracted me as a roommate someday. Be like, I have seen the sixty meter dash in person. All right, so it got me thinking, and more than thinking, do I have the budget for it? The planning for it? The downloading of documents for it? So that is the, there's the 2023 Pac-12 Swimming, Men's and Diving, Men's and Diving, Men's and Women's Swimming and Diving Championships, but I don't know about that, and I really hope, right, I'm married, but I could, we could come back for that, or we could be here and decide to go to that, that kind of thing. Um, and that's much more expensive. The tickets are like twice the price, but then there's not the parking. So it about evens out, but the gas is way more. It's like an hour and a half that way, each way. Okay. Um, so, and my sport is running. So we're going to put Mr. Noah Lyles in the 60 meter dash at the top. We'll see if I can make it happen. If it's meant to be kind of thing. Um, and it could be meant to be me and somebody else. It could be me and Mr. Lyles going. That would be... You're a very handsome man if you're watching this, Mr. Noah Lyles. Okay. Anyway, that's my take on the Noah Lyles 60 meter dash time of 6.44 seconds from 4 February 2024.